Hello guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you what is on my iPad 11 that my mommy got me my mommy my mother I never called my mom mommy I don't know why I said that mom got me for my birthday that's coming up May 4th May the 4th be with you anyway yeah my birthday's coming up so I got this bad boy as a little gift and today I'm going to be sharing with you what is on it because I've had it for few days and I've had the time to kind of download apps that I like, um, things I use for school, editing, you know. All right, so here we have my homepage. Okay, so it's just like this nude, kind of clean cut background. I know some people aren't a fan. I'm just kind of born like that. I like things very simple, I guess. So that's why I have that. Okay, so starting with unlocking the iPad, um, you can kind of see that the nude brings out the colors of the applications. I don't know why, it's just like so pleasing for me to see like kind of a plain background but then the apps kind of be thrown in your face like that. I'm just weird and like things to look kind of like put together, colorful and neat. So um, yeah, and I forgot to mention guys, sorry I'm like so sidetracked. I have this little pencil cover, look how cute it is. Um, It's like cat ears but like I have a Shiba Inu, I want it to be Shiba Inu ears so hi, that is so cute. Okay, anywho. Moving on, so the first app, the first app we have here, clock, obviously. I don't know why I would ever need it for the iPad, but maybe. Um, camera, and honestly, this camera's, this camera's honestly really good quality, so that's a plus, I guess. And like when you FaceTime, it's also really nice on this iPad. Just something to mention. Um, FaceTime app, and then the Find My iPhone. You got the calendar, the photos, we have our reminders, our notes. Um, and then one of the most used apps I have is the My ASU app. And this is mainly, well, I go to Arizona State University, obviously. And I just use this application to see my class schedule, um, my GPA, like my transcript, stuff like that. Um, that app shows you those things. Um, next contacts and then next contacts we have notion and this is one of the first So notion is one of the first Apps I use for school pretty much every single day. So I'll just kind of quickly show you guys What I use notion for even though I'm gonna be making um, an In-depth how I get um, really good grades in school using my iPad and stuff like that but I'll just kind of give you a really quick rundown because I feel like you guys definitely need to know this if you're trying to better yourselves and get better grades. So anyway, this is um, Notion. It's basically just a way to organize uh, lectures, uh, notes. So here I have all my different lectures that I take notes on. Um, and then I have chemistry folder. I'm able to put my syllabus up there. I tell, I can write little like reminders, like keep up with lectures, on my calendar to see when I have exams. Then again, more lectures. And I have it for each class, so I don't know, it's just kind of a way to keep all my lectures, notes kind of in the same area. So I find a notion really helpful and you guys should definitely try it out if you were big in school. I might kindle that because I'm constantly reading, especially during this quarantine. It is so freaking boring, so might as well read, guys. Like, just find a genre you like, read it. I like romance, um, fiction. There's like so many other genres you can find, and Kindle is just a way to read those books. Then I have Google Docs, uh, just for school again, App Store, and then this is the big one, Good Notes. This is what I'm pretty much using every single day. So you can see I have a folder. This one is for spring semester. And I have a few things in here. So I have my biology notes, my chemistry notes, or notebook, I mean. And then I have my daily planner in here. I have my statistics for life science notebook, um, biology, oops. I'll just kind of show you guys what my notes look like. So as you can see, I take notes pretty darn seriously and I'm also going to be writing or sorry writing what 
I'm also gonna be making a video on how to take notes on your iPad because this is what I pretty much do hours every day trying to study for school and that's how I get my really good grades. So can I make that video help you guys out? Um, obviously YouTube essential. My life, I'm just kidding guys, I'm being so dramatic. But yeah, YouTube. Then we have right next to it, YouTube Studio. This is where I just see my analytics. Um, see how many people are watching my videos, see what's doing good, see what's not doing good. Basically, if you're a YouTuber, you'd know what this app is, but if not, it's really just how you can see your statistics on different videos. And then, my university, we use Canvas, and this is just how uh, I can check my grades, see what assignments coming up. Look at that, we got all A's, so let's go. Stay tuned for my how I achieved a 4.0 GPA in my freshman year of college video. Um, I'm gonna be uploading that soon. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you are interested in seeing that because I'm honestly just kind of doing things that I wanna do, but I also want you guys' input as to what I should make since these videos are for you guys, so. Yeah, and then next to it, Next that I have Check, if you heard of that, it's basically just finding homework solutions and they give you kind of step by step on how to solve problems because I have a hard time solving a lot of science problems that I have for my chemistry class, my biology class. I use Check just to kind of help me understand the concepts even further. So yeah, that's Check. And then obviously Instagram is right next to that. You guys can follow, you guys can follow my Instagram. It's just Sophia Sassine, one word. So yeah, definitely give me a follow. Next that I have my editing. So this is where, again, I spend a lot of time on my iPad. This is what I use to make my thumbnails, mainly. And then just like other Instagram posts that I wanna put up. So we have PixArt. So uh, usually for thumbnails, I'll just give you guys an example. So Pixar, you basically just doodle on your images and I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys an example. So here, this is my what I eat in a day thumbnail that I used or that I made using the apps that I'm gonna show you. So Pixar, I use specifically to kind of outline my body, just kind of like accentuate um, what's being shown, just kind of have it stand out so the viewer is more inclined to click the video, or at least that's what I think. <laughs> I put some doodles around the food. You guys should definitely check this video out. It'll be on the iCard up there. But yeah, so I use PixArt to kind of do those doodles. And then Canva is just a way to kind of make my thumbnails the correct dimensions. So I kind of just search YouTube thumbnail and then it gives me a blank canvas that I put my images on, make a collage, whatever. And then we have Fonto where I put this text so I put this text on there and then I can also put like overlays of images so I put these little star details next to it and then a visco is what I use to edit every single one of my Instagram pictures and every single thumbnail I like to use the filter C1 like I think it just gives a really natural look but not kind of too overpowering so I use that for a lot of my thumbnails. This go is really awesome. And then finally in this folder we have Facetune and I just kind of use it to smooth out pimples, on dry bags, etc. because sometimes I'm not looking my best so I gotta just give myself a little help, you know? And the down bar, I didn't really even make that because it's all on one page anyway so I don't really feel like it's necessary to customize that little doc but yeah so that's pretty much all that I have on my iPad and um, how I take notes on my iPad so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know to keep on um, going with my YouTube career <laughs> 
instead of just giving up, that thumbs up really keeps me motivated and ready to create new content. Also, comment down below what else you want to see. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. It's a wrap.